it is very hard to identify delirium. It can be challenging to identify delirium in a person with underlying dementia. And we really rely in that case on getting a history from a reliable reporter, such as a family member or a nurse in a nursing home, about a change in mental status, a change in their cognition or their behavior or their um, usual physical health. So for instance, if they're eating less or if they're not able to do self-care and they were able to before, those are all very significant changes to identify. Um, our group has been trying to focus on some rapid screens that might be helpful to distinguish a delirium from a dementia. And what we found is that some um, sustained attention tasks can be quite um, helpful because it's been well described that um, sustained attention is kind of pathognomonic of a delirium, whereas with dementia, it tends to stay intact until you get to the more advanced stages. But I always have to pause and give a caveat there that, of course, there are many forms of dementia and many cases where sustained attention can also be affected. So a tool that we've developed is called the Ultra Brief CAM, or UB CAM, um, affectionately. And um, it is available as an app on the iPhone App Store, or if you search under Delirium, it will come right up. And it's a very rapid screener. You can literally screen for delirium in less than a minute. And it gives you the questions that you need to ask. And it's been tested in persons with dementia, has very high sensitivity. The specificity um, tends to be lower in, in persons with dementia. And so you have to confirm it, you know, with other approaches such as the full uh, CAM or confusion assessment method, for example. But it is, I think, going to be a very helpful screening tool for people. You know, many people just think about presence or absence, right? And they don't necessarily think about, okay, how do you rate the severity of delirium, for instance, um, or of dementia. And it's so critically important, we're discovering in the field, just knowing yes or no, delirium is present or not, is not enough. It's really the more severe forms of delirium that are the ones that are gonna go on to having those bad complications and perhaps leading to a course of long-term cognitive decline. And so it's really important, it behooves us to be able to recognize um, and, and rate um, severity. And so we are working on developing a variety of measures um, to rate delirium severity in the face of dementia. So we have published extensively already on two tools called, one's called the CAM-S, CAM severity, and one's called the DEL-S, delirium severity. They're related tools, but the delirium severity we published recently, and um, we're still validating it actually in dementia populations right now. And we're hoping to even develop a refinement of that DEL-S that's called the DEL-SAD, specifically for people with mild to moderate um, ADRD. And so unfortunately, that work is uh, still underway right now. Um, and, and we're, you know, the way we're doing it is we're testing 100 potential, um, you know, rating uh, features. And then we're we're going to develop an instrument and validate it. And so that's we're in the first year of a five year um, study to really try to do a good job with that. And we had expert panels who had us rate what were the important features to consider. And so hopefully that will all uh, bear important fruit <laughs> over the next uh, few years.